guys had a great weekend. Let's jump into some girl chat. All right, Let's there's a huge, huge scandal this past week when actor um, Dominic West, who is married, I repeat, he is mm -hmm. married, but he was photographed kissing his 31-year-old co-star Lily James. And listen, they weren't on set. It was out in the street. He wasn't wearing his wedding ring. Um, and following the photos getting released, Dominic and his wife of 10 years, Catherine, made a public statement that saying, our marriage is strong and we're very much still together. I <laughs> have a lot to say. I mean, however, the incident has caused, you know, comments about Dominic, you know, in terms of, is it natural to be monogamous? And I'm sure a lot of men say that because it gives them an out. But I wonder, is it is it natural? You know, are we shocked because he's married that he was kissing someone else? What do you guys think? As long as it's all right for his wife not to be monogamous and they cool with it on both sides, I, I think it's totally fine if that's what they choose to do for their marriage. Obviously, I read a little bit more into this article about uh, what happened here, and it actually says that the wife was devastated. We don't know if that's true or not, but supposedly the nanny and all of them were saying that she was absolutely devastated by this. So it's interesting to hear yeah, that she they is. Came out with this but she's, she's, joint statement. She's putting on a but brave she's face. With it. You know, right. she's putting on a brave face, but I don't know no woman that want her man all around Rome on and it wasn't just taking a picture of a kiss. They was on the scooters. No. They was at the the breakfast kissing. They was at yeah. lunch. They was in front of the uh what's in Rome? The the Coliseum. They was they the were doing Coliseum. it all. Yeah. yeah. They was doing and it was, all. So I don't know what they woman were. would appreciate that. I hear where Adrian right? is well, going with it. And tell me if you're wrong yeah. or if I'm wrong, Adrian, but you're saying that if both of them are agreeing to yeah. not be monogamous in their marriage, then who are we to speak mm -hmm. on it, right? For me, especially Correct. somebody going into marriage, it just frustrates me when people twist the definition of marriage to suit their what needs to the point that you don't have to be faithful to each other because isn't that the most sacred isn't thing about point? marriage is that you're only with each other. I get it that you don't have to be monogamous, but then why be married? Like you can also just right. be life partners or boyfriend and girlfriend right. or have an open relationship. But marriage to me, the reason why, the reason why 50% of people end up in divorce is because they can't stay sacred to each other. Back to the question, do you think that monogamy is natural. I, natural. I find it interesting that it seems to be going pretty swell for a lot of these women and these wives, but it's not going too well for these men. Right. Yes, but I understand uh, what he's saying, that you have to be a functioning, morally, ethically, per, uh, ethically driven person to be faithful. It's not, it's not, sure. a na natural means it's just born like that, right? And then all, you don't have to do anything to be loyal. Not everybody's built like that. It takes discipline. Yeah. So I understand yeah. what he's saying in that part. Not to say that we're animals, yeah. but it takes being morally sound to be faithful. You have but to nobody twist your arm. Like nobody twist your arm no. to get married. You, you can get, get married. married on your own right. free will. My thing is, stop using monogamy, you know, like, it's not natural as an excuse. I mean, the thing is, right. like, I agree with what Munchkin said. If your partner agrees to this, that's still not marriage to me. It's still, the marriage is between two people, and it's a, a deep commitment. That's why I and did what? it. I did it a what long time really... ago, Garcelle, but it was, it was, it was like, Three months, okay? Are you saying this something, is a Lonnie? Deep commitment. Are you <laughs> You're always Listen. asking. Now I'm giving you something. Okay, thank you. And I receive it. I thank you for sharing with us. Um, <laughs> the one thing I had a problem with is that he was so blatant with it. The act of taking off your ring so that you can hang out with someone else to me is so disrespectful. There's one picture that really messed me up is that he was caressing her head and smiling at her. And the picture was so intimate that I was really shocked that he was still married. And she had just broken up with her boyfriend. So I don't know. I just oh, think Lily all James, of it is really yeah. just really not cool. We could not talk cool about this forever. But I got yeah. something else I want to talk to you ladies about. Up next, a woman named Kyla Eubanks was trending this week after she claimed she was not allowed to board a Southwest flight for wearing this outfit. Show it, please. 
Kyla I claimed mean, the airline told her that her outfit violated their rule about wearing lewd, obscene, and offensive clothing. The plane's captain even came out to speak with her. Check this out. They're hating on you because you're looking good. Is that right? I don't, <laughs> I don't take this lightly at all. If they have it in their book or where they want you to cover up, are you willing to do that? I want to see it. <laughs> That was you know, my they, favorite they part. Wait, what's up with the crazy they hate my favorite. voice? They, they hating on you because you looking good. They hate because you looking right. good. But, you know, but he, he was trying to be cool. She did not find anyway, it funny at this all. Up. Kyla was eventually allowed to board after she covered up with a shirt the captain that was, you know, Gave hitting her. on her gate. <laughs> Allegedly hitting on her. Following the incident, the airline reportedly apologized directly to Kyla, issued her a refund as a gesture of goodwill. Okay, ladies, have at it. Should there be a dress okay. code for Can flying? I, wait, wait, wait. Can I go? Well, yes. Yes, there should be because, you know, there's a dress code for certain, you know, for churches, for restaurants, for, you know, What's why not? What's the dress not? code? My thing is, the airport and the airplane are so cold. Like, Crazy. I'm always like, I got a scarf, I got a blanket. I don't know how this chick is not cold. But I thought it was interesting when the pilot first walked up to her, she's like, you can't see me from your seat anyway, so what do you care? I was like, wow. Like, <laughs> she had an answer for no. everything. He was like, they hating on you because you looking good. She did not find it funny. She was like, I'm very serious about this. Don't even come here. But I'm also on her side, though. I don't, guys, Why? for this case, did you ever think that there was a dress code? And there was nothing inappropriate no. to me. So it's a deep plunge. So what? I don't see anything inappropriate with that outfit, honestly. So am I missing out? Has, has there always been a dress code and I didn't know it? No, I one time actually had to leave a red carpet event where I had a sexy dress on and I had to run straight, like I'm talking like big earrings like this and like a little dress to get on the plane and no one said anything. Southwest policy states that all passengers should dress to impress, adding while Southwest dress code is relaxed and casual, you will be expected to present a clean, well-groomed and tasteful appearance. Um, employees are responsible for well-being and comfort for everyone aboard the flight because it was the gate agent that was stopping her. And yeah. the airline says it prohibits clothing attire that is lewd, obscene, or pa uh, patently offensive per its contract of carriage. So that's the whole policy on Southwest. What is considered lewd? Then that's the only word that I... What is lewd? If she was showing nipples, if she was showing... Right her private parts, that to me would be lewd. That, I didn't see her lewd. private parts. Right. Lewd is sexually yeah, unchaste. Yeah. Obscene. That's what lewd What's means. Unchaste? So, thanks, Lonnie. I, <laughs> yeah. I still don't... I... I, I, I didn't think it was that, that terrible. more than anything. <laughs> people, people coming from Vegas dress like that on the plane all the time. I have a question. Now, you see what she had on. Would you yeah. be comfortable with... Maybe, Garcelle, your son sitting next to her or your significant others, ladies, sitting next to her on no. a flight. No. Yes. No. I no mean, problem. I think... Yeah. You would? Yeah, I wouldn't care. Really? I, I wouldn't I don't care know. I, I mean, I don't... Age, I can really we put up the, can other, we put up the picture one more time? Let me, let me, put a picture... You would be okay with, yes. with them sitting next to each other. I, yes. I really don't have a problem with it. It's not that serious. For six it's hours. It's, it's, it's For a six lot hours. of cleavage, and that's... Sure, I don't. Yo, Listen. if I'm, this is my thing. It's like when people go to church and they're like, "Oh, you gotta wear certain things because you don't want to make somebody else stumble." If if yeah. an outfit like that is causing you to stumble, you might want to work on something else. And you, uh, it's, you guys, know, it's everybody's like, everybody's not strong right like Israel. Everybody don't. Just say everybody's it. not strong like that. He would text me. He'd be like, "Yo, this girl has this wild outfit." Darcy, what about next your son me? sitting For next sure. to a woman that, that uh, has I would have a, I would have a problem. I would have a problem with it. I would. I just feel like people should be presentable. I'm not saying she's not presentable, but I just feel like, you know, I see flip flops and booty shorts on the airplane. I remember when people would dress up to get, you know, to get on a plane to go to the airport. My mom was like, you know, she would go all out. But I feel like you got to represent yourself if you're going to be out there. I'm not necessarily talking about her outfit, but I think yeah. we should make an effort to be presentable when we're out and about. 
I think plane rides are boring and I really don't want to pay extra for movies, so if I get to watch a little peep show, I'm excited about it. That's <laughs> <laughs> Before we take a break, I just want to remind everybody you to watch freak. me Dancing with the Stars tonight because Brandon and I are going to be dancing the rumba. It's going to be a very emotional song. The a rumba. Big part of my family story. Please do vote 10 times by texting 21523 and text 10 times online at abc.com. If you don't know how to vote, go to Adrian and Israel's Instagram stories because they always tell you exactly <laughs> what you need to do. I thank you guys for the support. Thank you for keeping us on. Let's see how long I can last.